Hello everyone, today I'll be doing three summer inspired hairstyles and let's get started with this first one which is super simple and it's a double braided headband. You want to start off this hairstyle by brushing off your doll's hair. This will work on any doll's hair that can wrap around their head. So to do this hairstyle we're just going to separate a small section of hair from right above her ear. It should be the hair lining her um, face and head so it will be covered by other hair when you braid it. So now all we want to do is braid this hair down and it doesn't particularly matter if it's pointing upwards or not, it just has to be a braid. And this section can be as small or as large as you'd like, but the point is for it to be hidden down here so it looks like it's a real headband. So to finish this hairstyle we're just going to bring the braid from the other side over and to pin this in I'm just going to be using a bobby pin because those are the easiest. I believe and all we're going to do is pin it in right along her hairline so it is hidden and out of the way and we'll just push this down and then we can bring the rest of the hair over and then repeat on the other side so here's the finished hairstyle I just think it's a cute way to pull back your doll's hair using her hair and you really just need to know how to braid for this so maybe along to the next hairstyle to start up the next hairstyle, we're just going to brush out our doll's hair just like before. Now, in the front of her face, we're just going to sec section off two parts. So here I'm just using the back of a comb to section off a piece of hair. I've done this in many of my other tutorials. Okay. So now I'm going to turn her around and leaving those two sections out, I'm going to split a small part of her hair from the top. I'm just going to secure this part with a hair elastic, and I do not have any clear one, so I'll just be using this white one. I absolutely love this hairstyle. I think it looks good on so many different dolls, and this can be done on almost any hair type, I think. Um, it just looks so nice with the little hair in the front, and then when you turn her out, it's an easy way to pull her hair back, but you still get the long hair effect. For this last hairstyle, we're going to start off by brushing our doll's hair out, just like before. I, this doll, I'm using McKenna. And this hairstyle will work on any part on a doll's hair, but I'm just putting hers on a side part. I didn't bother doing this on time lapse just because you've seen it two other times in this video, but we're going to start off by waterfall braiding around her head like so here. So to waterfall braid, we're just going to collect a section of hair from the top, and we're going to angle this one slightly downwards. I'm just going to... Here, do one braid. So just here, let's try and this. Here more. Just start braiding the two first strands, and then when I'm gonna bring this next strand in, I'm going to add a small section of hair from the top of her head. Now with the two sections here, I'm going to braid it over again, and then add another section of hair in. So now what I need to do is I need to bring up this section from down here. But instead of bringing both this section from the top that I just gathered and the actual piece, I'm just going to let that extra piece that we added in fall down. So now here I am again. I'm going to gather a piece of hair, bring it down, and then only bring up one part of the hair. Piece of hair braid it in, and then only bring up one part of the hair that's down there. So what I want to do is I'm going to waterfall braid to the center and then do the same thing on the other side. And I can do this a time lapse. So right now you can leave the hairstyle the way it is and I think it looks fantastic because waterfall braids are so beautiful and you can really see the full effect, especially with highlighted hair and it kind of does have some slight highlights. But if you want to take this hairstyle to a more advanced level, you can split all of her hair into two portions and then braid it. You will sort of lose the waterfall hair effect, but it's also really pretty. If you don't want to braid it, and there's the phone, if you don't want to braid it, you can also just pigtail it and you will still get some of the waterfall effect, but it's really all up to you. So 
So here's what the hairstyle looks like with two pigtails. Here is the hairstyle with two braids. And here is just the original hairstyle and all three look amazing and it's a fun hairstyle for the summer. So thank you all for watching this video. Comment, like, and subscribe for more and have an awesome day.